How's it going, everybody? This is Max Blue. Sorry, I had to fix my micro oh, microwave. Uh, microphone real quick, because for some reason it's doing this weird thing where it doesn't register. Uh, but anyways, it is currently 2.20 in the afternoon here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a bonus stream, because I, I got to sleep in today because I didn't have to go to work. So that was that was a pretty good thing. Um, today, we're going to be streaming The Outer Worlds. This actually just released today, so uh, this is going to be kind of the first look into it. Um, I got this using the Xbox Game Pass. They added it to their library of games where you so basically how the Xbox Game Pass works is you buy it, it I think it's like five or ten bucks a month uh, and you get unlimited access to a select library of games that Xbox has and it could range from new games to old games it's it's pretty much anything like I'm also thinking about downloading Forza uh, Horizon 4 off of there because I saw it and I like car things but basically like I said we're gonna be playing Outer Worlds new game don't know much about it uh, I've watched a couple of other people stream it aka my friends Flatulent Shadow and AM Redwood so be sure to give them a check out on Twitch uh, and also, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out our Facebook or Twitter. Give those a like and follow. And also, check out our Mixer, YouTube, and Twitch as well. Give those all the follows, the likes, the subscribes, and everything. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, and also, be sure to check out my website, maxblue9816.live. The stream from Twitch also mirrors there as does the chat and it also has this neat little feature where you can tip me and tell me that you like what I'm doing and you like the content so be sure to check that out maxblue9816.live and let's jump into this let's let's see how this goes uh, select difficulty. Story. Use this mood if you enjoy story more than combat. Enemies have less health, do less damage. Normal. Recommended for your first play session. Enemies have standard health and damage. Hard. This mode is players are looking for extra challenge. Hard mode. Enemies have more health, do more damage. Supernova. Super mode is or supernova mode is hardest difficulty you only be selected at the start of the game and is recommended for advanced players. Supernova mode adds additional challenges to the game if you reduce the difficulty below super new, supernova. Uh, you cannot re-enable re it. Emery's have more health and deal more damage. You must eat, drink, and sleep to survive. Companions can die permanently. Crippled body and limb conditions can only be healed with bed rest man I wish it worked like that in real life huh anyways uh, weapons and armor work very poorly at zero durability you can only fast travel to your ship you can only sleep inside your ship and you can only manually save while inside your ship and auto saves are limited huh I don't quite know what to pick. I could go like super hard mode and then like die 5,000 fucking times. Uh. Huh. Fuck it, let's do it. That's, that sounds interesting. That might add a 
interesting little thing to this. Continue. How Halcyon? Why state? Oh, it went away. Sad. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <sighs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the port's bottom line. Disgraceful. What do? Oh. I can change things. Uh, strength, dexterity, intelligent, perception, charm, and temperament. So how does this work? Like, oh, I see. Very low likelihood of explosive cell death. Interesting. Alright, strength. Uh, effects melee, weapon damage, amount you can carry, effective skills, one handed, two handed, heavy weapons block, inspiration, intimidate, zero, melee damage. Okay, and that bumps it up. Okay. Dexterity. Effects melee attack speed, range weapon reload speed, one-handed melee, handguns dodge, block, sneak, and lockpick. Intelligent. Critical hit bonus damage, long guns persuade, hack, medical science, and determination. Perception. Effects headshot and weak spot damage bonuses. Handgun, long guns, heavy weapons, dodge, lockpick, and engineering. Charm. Uh, effects, faction, reputation, companion, ability, cooldowns, persuade, lie, intimidate, hack, science, inspiration. Temperament, improves your natural health regeneration, two-handed melee, lie, sneak, medical, engineering, determination, two health regeneration per second. Um, You're also average. I've got six points. I could go for a balanced build, or I could work it out a bit more. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm not sure how I should do this. This one's so normal. Um 
balanced or something else? Let's see. I could go balanced. Or I could bump something else down. bump that down and then bump that up a little bit but then my I have less carrying capabilities I bump that down oh dear your corrective lenses need corrective lenses <laughs> all right <laughs> Um, let's see. Charm. Uh, let's go with that. Why not? Next. Skills. I can do skills. Okay. Melee. Uh, critical hit chance. Stuff like that. Reduces weapon sway. Okay. Defense improves ability to avoid damage. Improves your ability to talk with MP NPCs in and out of combat. Improves your ability to get through and around security. Improve your knowledge of bodies, tools, in the universe. Wow. Leadership, improve companion health and abilities in combat. Chairman material, or at least captain. I'm gonna do that. And then E for next. Aptitude. What is this? Good for you. Okay, you so I can know what you're meant to be. I can only accept one, so no discernible, sounded like a nice entry-level career, person your skills. Cosmic Frontier is ambitious enough without worrying to your day job, you have the rest of your life to decide how to be useful at Helicon. Needs good people, but will settle for once you can mix an emerald drink. Uh, human cocktail shaker. <laughs> hey, I, I, I like drinks. You make cocktails that could end wars with fuel skip drives. You're still trying to balance out flavors, a truly signature old fashioned though. Uh, bureaucrat. Operates on laws, laws require paperwork. Helicon is no exception. If something isn't stamp filed, unfiled, referenced, redacted, certified, indexed, and numbered, then it might as well not exist. Birth certificates included. Cashier, subgrade, non supervisory. No transaction is finished without a smile. You live for the chunk of a bit cartridge getting inserted right side up. The redemption of loyalty points and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon, real soon. Bye bye now. Are more than empty words. There are promise and a standard you intend on carrying to the frontier. Construction electrician class, wire, spo wire spooler. Contrary to popular belief, cable management is an art form. Something about hiding electrical wiring behind panels to maximize airflow just makes you sigh of relief. Colonists don't need to worry about the bypasses and workarounds that keep power flowing. That's your burden to shoulder. Elevator operation specialist. The proper lift goes up and down. Anyone who thinks otherwise isn't fit to wear the badge. Being a specialist means something where you came from. A commitment to upward and downward mobility that doesn't have a price tag. Factory worker, conveyor operator. Safety and efficiency doesn't always go hand in hand, which is why so many of your co-workers at the factory we're amputees. You survived the trenches of the assembly line long enough to know when a hydraulic press just wants to pancake some fingers. Thankfully, you managed to keep all of yours. Farmer. Dirt. You got in this business for the tubers, but you saved for the plowing, planting, pruning, and plucking. It isn't honest work if you come 
home clean. Worms need dirt and food needs worms. You're just doing your part for the worms. Do it for the worms. Food additive tester. Sometimes quality control means sampling a delicious, delicious borst smoothie, but most of the time it means swallowing toxins until you find one that stays down. You love a good surprise now that your stomach lining has the consistency of a broken in saddle. It's easy to explore your culinary limits. Janitor, sanitation class. You spend your evenings kneeling over ominous stains with a bottle of caustic solvent and an absorbent rag. How the blood got there is irrelevant above your pay grade and beneath your interest. You're an artist of erasure. When you're on the job, there's no trace to be found. Toss ball team mascot. There isn't a problem in all the cosmos that team spirit and a big stick can solve together. Your last major head injury in the field knocks some extra cheer into you. And you've been a rising star in Toss Ball's competitive mascot food chain ever since. It doesn't matter that no one knows your face under the mask. You share glory with the team. Medical te technician, junior grade. Prior to leaving Earth, you earned the trust of the medical community's most esteemed junior surgeons, who entrusted you with stuffing cotton balls into pill bottles. Experience on the job made you realize that diagnosing illness doesn't take a formal education with a surge terminal and a little imagination will do the trick. Safety inspector. In your line of work, the corporation's bottom line needs more protection than its personnel. Guardrails aren't free, thermal shooting needs replacing, and a hatch that seals reliably is a luxury. You're on the vanguard of ensuring that every possible expense is spared, since corners don't cut themselves yet. You prefer to think of workplace accidents as happy little coincidences. Scientist Assistant, Level 0, Class A. You've cleaned out enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct for what goes in them and why. Maybe you didn't get into this business to mop up the leavings of failed experiments, but that's just part of the job. Even if you can't unsee what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from mistakes and enjoy some colorful nightmares. Sub Su Chef. 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 It's a chef now. The hierarchy of a modern kitchen is a lot is a ladder of many rungs. Your role as assistant to the second deputy chef's, chef's aide, remember it's chef now, aide is one of the middling distinction. But you are honored to pour your heart into the ritual emptying of grease pans and the backbreaking labor of gravy restoration. You're holding out that for that advancement to poultry inspection which is due in a year now. Hmm. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for scientist well, assistant. You are technically assisting me. Shut up. I'm gonna be a male. What's what's my face? I have different face shapes. face was big. Caught me off guard. I'm gonna be this one. My skin tone. I can be white as fucking day. Hold up. Where'd it go? Alright, I'm white. <laughs> I'm I am so pale. Let's just leave it default, give myself a little bit of color. I have blue eyes. Oh, it controls how far your brows are from each other. I'm gonna leave that like that. What does that do? Oh, I can give myself like... <laughs> I'm gonna put that there. put that there. Oh, that controls how far your eyes are from each other. Just, eh. 
Yeah. Let's put it about there. I don't know. Eye size. Big Amine eyes. I'm going to leave those like that. Right there. Um, that can go there. Um, there. Um, there. Up. Oh, it's in the same place. I want a tiny nose. Nose tilt. make his nose there. How big is your nose? I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put that all the way down. How defined are your cheeks? Like that. That's how defined my cheeks are. That's my hairstyle. It's gonna be that color. There's 34 different styles of eyebrows. Oh yeah. Let me give myself a unibrow. Boom. I just got my eyebrows did. There we go. gonna be that color. Features, makeup. You can wear makeup? Why? What the hell? I'm gonna give him a cool ass scar. Dirt. Am I dirty? No, I'm clean. Ah, oh, more scars. Give them all of the scars. Wait, why do they have two scars through each eyeball? scar right there. See, his left cheek, he has a bad time with that. As you can see, now he's going to have two scars there. Uh, I'll pass on the age part. E, what's your name? Uh... Let's just do Max. My name's Max. E next. And that's the summary. E next. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Is it my lucky day?
Not likely, bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. Light speed. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes. Well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! What? <laughs> I love how he, like, presses the button and is like, wait, nothing's going on. And he proceeds to, like fucking smack the key the control panel several times and it finally works that's that's how things work if you smack them a bunch of times uh, can you hear me is this thing working ah there you are now uh, where were we oh yes the smuggler his name is Hawthorne and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. I'm on fire. Am I dead? How do I know what buttons to press? Just a Hawthorne second. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Interesting. So I guess they want me to walk this way. So space is jump is normal. Left control ducks. What are you? Hey, come back here.
left shift to sprint. I'm assuming I don't want that thing to see me, so... You, you can't see me. I am invisible. What is happening? You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Okay, give me a second, because the controls, mouse sensitivity, let's turn that up just a bit. That's a bit better. Oof. What are you? Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. So, I'm really bad at choices, so for this, I am going to be using a randomizer to help me make choices. And it's... So, two, what happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. It wants me to do four. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Three things. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Alright, so there's three choices again. Let's see. One. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Alright. Now what? Okay. It wants me to leave the conversation. I now have a gun. What am I attacking? I don't know what they want me to attack. Are there things in here? Can I take things? Wall. I'm gonna take all the things. Some chairs and stuff in there. 
Oh, I need to shoot the canisters. Alright. Boom. And I'm the thing's happening again. Hibernation complications detected tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical dime dilation button, TDD, sh slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TD to TD meter very slowly. While moving and attacks, it drain it faster. The TD D meter refreshes slowly over time, and I press Q for it. Okay. search you for anything does, does that does it work like that Ooh. I will take all the things I like things bump, 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 bump. but hacking picking lock or hacking lockpick skills help you get in a place you should not meant to be mag clicks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions if your skill is high enough to break the security you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take raising your skill skill will lower the number of items to use and speed up the process i don't have enough things to get into that Let me take more things. I don't know if stepping in the fire would hurt or not. Or if it'll let me. Oh, uh, yep, it does hurt. I am on fire. What is this thing? I don't... I'm not sure what that is. What is this? I'll take it. Do I have enough things now? I do not. I want to know it's in the box. Fine. I guess I won't figure it out. Oh, hello, there's a person. Hey, get away from me. Oh, I'm dead already. Continue. This... I gotta start from there? Damn it. There's a little fire here. Okay. So, I gotta redo, redo the whole tutorial. Wonderful. There's a person here. I'll take that. I didn't see this person the first time.
Alright. Uh, uh. Alright, so I'm back here. And there is that thing again. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. And I break my leg again. Use F to use the special inhaler. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. All right. Two. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Investigating an illegally grounded ship, all spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? You'd better take my gun, then. Careful. It's worth more to the company than I am. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, now at the time. All right. I'll take that. And then there's stuff over here. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. Okay, I am turning that sensitivity down a little bit. That, I turned it up a little, tad bit too much. Let's turn it down to 25%. Okay. I remember I gotta shoot this thing. Bop. Aw. Uh. that thing again. Oh, he is now dismembered. Interesting. You don't have anything on you. Where'd the other dude go? I'll take all of your things. Boom, 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 and boom. I can open it now. So I missed something the first time. Telescoping staff, 54 damage per second. Two handed melee, 51 damage. Knockdown. Can be modified. I'll take it. An eyes inventory. Oh, it did a thing. Weapon management. You can have four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them up to slots at the top of the screen on this page. You also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as drunk, break them down for parts. Players with engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. Inspect. Okay. Armor management. Drag armor, helmet, and equipment stuff. So you can also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, all that good stuff. Consumables. Here you can use junk. Drop your consumables. The 
medical inhaler is the front of top screen and uses adreno as fuel to heal you in emergency always keep it loaded into slot one increase your medical skill and unlock more drug misking slots they can hold all types of consumables not just adreno each slot is mixed into every puff of the inhaler for a combined effect your medical skills increases the duration of these effects neat Boom. Modifications, general, quests, junk, character. Okay, journal. Okay, so codex. Okay, that's all that stuff. And then I got this neat little map. Right, turn around. Should I fight them? Or should I try to sneak past them? Because here there are two of them. He's going to go over there, I think. He continues to walk down there. This dude's going to come around here. I'm gonna slow down time. Bam. 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 And I died again. Fuck. Shit. Okay, so there's three of them. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the right. might have gone after the bounty on my head. So let's do this again. Boom. Jump over obstacles. Crouch. I'm gonna come across this dude, I'm gonna steal some shit from him. Boom. Right, sneak past all these dudes. Tell me about all that stuff again. Hey, you you've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. 
crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Investigating an illegally grounded ship, all spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. Oh, what the all hell? All spacers' choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. things that I will take Okay, so yeah, there's three of them. Attack or no? Because I can try to sneak past them, but let's see how that's ended up the past couple times. You know what? Fuck it. Oh, nope. He's moving. Hold on. I'm attacking. other dude went. Fuck.
Damn it. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after Gotta go through all this again. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Try the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Adrena time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Here, you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. The hell is that noise? All right, so this time I'm just going to sneak past him cuz fuck that.
Uh, give me just a second. Tell me about that. Hello. Who are you? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Hmm. There's five choices. Let's see. He wants me to do four. I don't want to leave the conversation. One. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Hmm. Here we go. Let me just take some things from them real quick. I don't know what you are. I think one of them landed over here somewhere. Found him. Nope, you ain't got nothing on him. contains no valuable plunder. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. I'm not a Marauder. What is this thing? 
Oh, it's the camera. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Enda, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Hmm. Three choices. Two. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jetson procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? What? I, I'm not Captain Hawthorne, though. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside the ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. Okay. Uh, sure. Whatever, whatever you say, computer. You are welcome. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. Hmm. The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Fitting name, considering it's broken. <laughs> well. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill in melee improves all of the specialized skills in that group to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to your specialized skill up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but a special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks in the skills passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. You've been promoted to level up. Congratulations, gain a level. Okay, I'm already there. Um, I'm gonna add that to Oh wait, I have a whole fuck ton of points. I'm just gonna 
add them randomly to things. It said things, but I accidentally clicked out of it. Precision. Right, and then journal. Uh, codex. I, I, I don't. Uh, it just has a bunch of random things. Fast travel, quest screen. I've already. Why not? Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay. These are the crew's quarters. Alice preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. It does belong to me now, so fuck you. Just kidding. Someone's been drinking. Surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. What's this way? If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. I could get used to this, Captain. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Oh. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Neat. Can I just jump over that? Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Wow. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Let's see, one or one. The 
What is this thing? So this is my ship. Neat. Let's put more bullets in this just in case. Okay, there's one. I don't know if there are any more, but... Resident, resident. Give me your things. Why can't I search you? Probably because you don't have anything on you. How do I get? Do I? Can I go up here? Or? Hey, there's my ship again. That's a lot of gravestones. Well, I think they're supposed to look like gravestones at least. Whoa, hey. You come from. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on me. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Interesting. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. <laughs> He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Depends on Bad work. Water is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Five. Let me ask you about something else. Yeah? Uh, this town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you, you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say... Those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Hmm. Three. I should go. Thirst. You're thirsty and need a drink. In supernova difficulty, you must drink every few hours to prevent dehydration. Consuming a non-alcoholic drink, clear your thirst and prevent de dehydration for a few hours. Without drinking, your dehydration will get 
worse over time in four stages, reducing your dexterity, perception, intelligence at each stage before eventually death. This place looks pretty rough. I discovered the cantina. We've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Yes, I am not in uniform. Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the uh honorable apparel of a loyal worker? <clears throat> Screw you. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Oh, yeah. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. The geothermal plant was built by our owners, Spacer's Choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the Vale is now abandoned. All that power is going to waste. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Hmm. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserted. Former workers, I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Three. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holton, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure, I could use the company. Great! 
I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Companions. You gain a companion. There are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companion provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Neat. Alright, so I guess I leave now. Hello. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. Four. One. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay. I don't know anybody well. I mostly listen to them talk, get my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. Hmm. Four. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... They don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Hey, my name's Max. The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say, anyways. Okay, let's go meet this dude. I think. What the hell? What's this? One left hand severed at the wrist, bone damage, two points, amputation has been many months. Please exercise cars for safety round. Okay. Wait, I have more than one thing. What? I don't understand. Alright, uh, journal. Comes now the power. Speak to the V car. Uh, let's go this way. Fifty nine meters. Well, actually, that one was there before, so we may be over here. The V-car dude. Botanical lab. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to get in there. How do I get in there? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. 
or Maximilian. Maximilian. Sort of brevity. And Miss Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along with the DeSoto. Remind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season is toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. Hmm. Three. They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. Three. One. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. Okay. You don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. Four options. We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as scientism to the layperson. Mock me all you want. I know my beliefs to be true. Just a moment. If you're going to be walking around outside, make sure you're well prepared. Unless you don't care for your life. Hmm. Two options. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastard snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. So you'll consider it? I do appreciate you hearing me out. And, um, your discretion. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Hmm. Four. On the contrary, my position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry. You'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf. I don't want to leave just yet. Glad we see eye to eye. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Please get it. What would you like to discuss? But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. 
What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Okay. Alright, so if I look at my map, what the hell is that? Okay, that's a place, that's a place. The objective is that. Obviously. get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love the room here. How do I get down from here? Should have went out the other way. So let's go back in here and then exit out the other side. That's that's why there was one on each door because you could exit out either way. But this one over here is a lot closer. these old homes of people damn it yeah maybe I shouldn't just jump into things like that Let's try that again. Can't get in there, I have to unlock it. This one's unlocked. this 
vending machines. They've got lots of things in them. Can't get into that. What is that? There's dudes. That was supposed to kill them. I didn't realize there was more than one. Oh no. Oh no. Run away. Hey, leave me alone. I'm running away.
No. I'm going to use that one. Probably going to set me back all the way to the fucking shit. Yep. I would prefer to have this Pavardi person with me. Sneak past them. Because I would very strongly prefer not to get involved in altercation, especially when the only thing I have is a fucking handgun. Showing four hostiles. All right, let's go back a bit. sneak past everything for now. search this house. Not much here. Things make a lot of weird noises, and it makes me slightly uncomfortable. 
Because I don't know what's happening. That one's evicted. Okay, so that place is this way. I think I'm literally right next to it. Uh, yep. Botanical lab. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. I don't know you either. For it ain't here. Move along. Three. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Much obliged. Oh. Sleep deprivation. You're tired and need to sleep. Sleep on your ship every day to prevent exhaustion. Without sleep, your exhaustion can get over worse over time. Okay, so... Um... How do I drink? Oh, interesting. Thirst. Okay. But how? 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 How do I drink? Where do I drink? Let me consult the Google real quick. If you're hungry, step in stuff to Keep your wits about you, friend. Oh, confess. He used to follow me around before he left the cannon. 
keep your wits about you, friend. If you're hungry, Stefan's got some time. Who's Stefan? Oh, I didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, from this part body. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Oh. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I, I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. Uh, I accidentally turned down my volume. Uh, I'm not sure quite how to drink. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well armed and don't look stricken with plague. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Hmm. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. All I right. appreciate you hearing me out at least. The randomizer has spoken and said, hey, we're done talking to this dude. Who are you? If you're hungry. I don't know who Stefan is. Wait, what's this? Things. Yeah, let's not touch that. And out the back. hungry there's meat turning on the spit outside if you're bearing illness find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice whatever your troubles with Edgewater leave them at the gates and be welcomed here any questions dear three I have been called that among other things green thumb grandmother the strange old lady who keeps flowers but yes Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon. But oh. it's been cleaned. here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile let's hear it what's Reed's idea of peace there let's see three and it wants me I can't say I blame you Reed is positively soporific <laughs> like everything else that comes out of Edgewater that peace offering is canned I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Two things. You 
would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious canner. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Five. I trust you will listen to your conscience. All sorts of things in here. Oh, I can steal things. That's why they're red. So, I've got to go to this master control terminal now, which looks like it's there, next to all that stuff. I'm going to fast travel to my landing site real quick, so that I can do the in-game sleep thing. I can't sleep. Damn it. I can only fast travel to my ship. So I gotta make my way all the way back over there? God. Damn it. All right. Oh, he's angry. They're angry. There are things there, and they got angry. Yikes. I might possibly have to change the game difficulty. Alright. Oh, well, it put me back at this place, so... I suppose that works. I just gotta make my way back over to that other place. And maybe keep a better eye out for things around me. Can I drink this water? Is that an option?
No, it won't let me drink the water. Sad. Sneak in. Processing. Beginning security patrol. Look out! She's dead. What the hell? Pavardi. Uh, how do I fix it? How do I fix her? How do I fix you? Come back. Damn it. All right. So sadly, I am going to decrease the difficulty cuz yeah. Does that mean I can fast travel now? I can't. And I don't have to deal with food and all of that anymore. Lovely. And now I can quick save. So, I'm... G from here on out, I will be doing hard mode, because I am not nowhere near skilled enough to do Supernova. Maybe one day I will reach that point, but that day is not now. But, real quick, I am going to take a quick break. I will be back momentarily. I have returned. 
Let's get back into this. <laughs> Got it, inside voices. <laughs> I'm gonna mess with my skills real quick. Stealth. Upgrade that again. Twice. Um, upgrade dialogue. And upgrade that. I'm going to upgrade it five times. Apply. I have no perks. That's fine. So, where am I supposed to get? Okay, to the master control terminal. Try to sneak around this entire place. Whisper quiet mus muzzling. What? Toss ball blocker, light pistol. armor, four armor. As for this,
I expected. Interesting. So those flying things. That flying thing saw me. Where the hell? Oh, it saved at this point. Just pick up. I made it inside. Finally. I'll take your things. I'll we take your things. I hope we're doing the right thing. What's this? More vending machines. Security 
terminating security search. System alert. Oh, that's a lovely animal. I'll take your things. I'll take these things. I'm going to save. Resume. out for whatever that is. Give me things. Okay, so that failed, so I have to do other things now. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Sure. Sure it will. And now we gotta get past all these fucking robots again. fucking doorway.
That thing just scared the shit out of me, bro. And she pissed off the fucking robot. Good fam. Something you need? <sighs> Fucking robots, bro. I'll take that. fucking better way of doing this. happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? System. 
Unexpected. Investigate. <laughs> Damn it. All right. I'm a bitch. I am 100% a bitch, so I'm turning down that more. All right. You're up. I'm collecting things. That's a thing. Unlock door, enter passcode, exit. Let's do this. Borrowed a copy of Young's Three Sky, I think it's volume three, and he's something read down the pit.
just you. Behaviors, distance, close. You're not real. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded.
Fucking all these fucking robots, dude. where I'm supposed to be get to. Processing. that one down because I already have one. Impact hammer? Where is it at? Where does she have an impact hammer? She has the impact hammer. Can I give that to myself?
Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Shit. Oh well. Gotta deal with it. Processing. Get ready. Oh, shit. So, where am I? I'm that. So, there's that staircase that just went up. I'm not sure if that's a down or up staircase. That's an up, I think. There's also the staircase that I'm hiding under right now. OK. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try to go up that staircase. Can't heal in time. Okay. Okay, I'm back to hiding underneath the stairs. Fuck you. I'm actually going to keep using that thing, because that thing's nice. It does a lot more damage than my gun, and I don't waste rounds. Kinda like there was a dude in here somewhere. So I want I would prefer to check that out real quick. I think Come on. 
Give me your parts. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot! Scram! Alright, so three options. Boop. Three is not an option. Uh, two. Don't you talk down to me, Phantom. At least I know I'm real. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Oh, do you? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Okay. <laughs> Two options. Well, I'm not leaving the oh, conversation. Many things over the years: Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Oh yeah. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Oh, before, definitely before, Sissy Pig Tycoonery was the apex of my long and storied career. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. Ironic deaths are the worst. You made your point. I'll help you. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Oh. Jimmy'd open the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Oh. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out.
Okay, so now I got this hammer. I'm gonna swap it out with that thing. I see someone back in this room. Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edward's power. I think it would be cool. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edwater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Sorry, I didn't mean to grab off like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order.
Okay, now I'm retrieving power regulator from somewhere. From the botanical lab, okay. What was up here? Something I can't get into. serves as informant at company's displeasure, torture management at Emerald Vale Green Geothermal Plant for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget in the last quarterly report. Please select five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in, official, in an official reprimand. That... what? <laughs> the Spacer's Choice family would like to collectively remind you that you are working, that you working for, you that working for Spacer's Choice is not a right but a privilege. No need for a reprimand. The esteemed members and oversight committee of this letter finds you wealthy. After due consideration of your last letter, I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who are unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. I would like to remind the Oversight Committee that while most of the Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output quotas, particularly our agriculture and fishing canning departments, neither of which are anywhere close to profitable, the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-efficient power to the entire region. We investigated the claims made against the profitability graded in our reveal. Reasons are often to agree with you. Agriculture and fishing have experienced a steady decline while the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains somewhat profitable. Our offices are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost saving measures, which will ultimately lead to a leaner, more streamlined, more efficient geothermal flower plant. Please inform that Space, Space's Choice Development and Oversight Office has taken a significant er, insurance policy against the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. The office would like to assure you that this insurance policy is a standard procedure. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, or otherwise extrapolate from this decision. As a special court courtesy, we have deployed a proprietary team of engineering specialists to injure Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. This team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of automatical, auto mechanicals, free of charge. The, so, that supposed refit of auto mechanicals was them doing that reprimand basically saying fuck you you didn't listen to us Why are they aiming at us, first of all? They're supposed to be fighting each other. Why did they fight us? 
That doesn't make sense. What if I go through this side door over here? Since apparently they did not get reprogrammed. Just them. Here they come. Give me your parts, you fucking stupid robot. I don't understand why these are still attacking. Because they were supposed to reset to target each other. Which is, isn't making sense in my head. Turn around, go away. Thank you.
I got a sawed off shotgun. Wait. Both of those belong to me. Alright, so, you cannot fast travel while near hostiles, got it. don't know if they're plotting or not, so I'm going to go around the back way. They seem to be having a come to Jesus moment around the fire. I think the door was over here. Oh, it's sealed. Well, I cut off their power, that's probably why it's sealed. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on us. It. This is all you are doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Alright. I don't know what decision to make in this circumstance. Alright. As long as Reed is still in Edgewater, I will not return. Those are my terms. Oh wait, there's only two options. I need to reset my randomizer real quick. Two. 
boom, two. Keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. Sure, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. Adelaide hates Edgewater, hates everything Edgewater stands for, hates what that town does to people, what it did to her. We're the nearest she's got to kin. We go back to Edgewater, we may as well have stuck a knife in her heart. You know where to find me. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. The matter's been weighing on me. Fact is, I can't go anywhere long as Zoe's missing. Disappeared without a trace. Marauders took her, I suspect. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging. That ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Appreciate it. Honest. Alright, so... I'm gonna flip to that real quick, that quest. Oh, there's more buildings over here too. So that's in the no edge water for me, no more cannery, no more jumpsuits and gloves, yes ma'ams, and would you like another? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake. Because I've always hated the cannery and don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal manning years hence and tell myself, oh wow, did I hate the veil once? I did hate the veil once, didn't I? Just because I got sick, everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sicked and grabbed a little too much Adrena time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happens to the personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps. Oh, but you misappropriate one box of Adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. Well, today's the day, though. So. 
Today is the day you take your destiny in your own hands. Been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat, Bands of Wild, Free Spirited Bandits. Living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires. Probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning f to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules. I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food. And I've got some spare cans of salt tuna. Should ask... Should last me a couple of times if I rash, and I got some Adrena time too. Everybody loves Adrena time, even Marauders, right? I got odds those Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple stringes of Adrena time before their eyes. This is going to be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bennett Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang of Marauders on my at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizos. More skill points. Boom, 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 boom. Use five of those on that st shit. Boom, boom. Um, there we go. Neat. Alright, I've unlocked another perk. Body. Can't use any perks on her, I don't think. I'm going to add base health. What is that, like their camp over there?
want what? Adrena time? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you some. How you want what? Adrena time? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you some. How am I supposed to get to her? Okay, go on quiet. How do I get to her? I don't know. Can't go that way. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to... 
come up with a plan in my head. So they're saying approach from a distance. Let me see if I can sneak out of here without being seen. assault rifle. That one uses heavy, that one uses heavy. See, I need more heavy ammunition though. Crossed them all off like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. All right, back to the the randomizer. Three options. Boom. Three. Not for free. Oh, well, that's a shame. I mean, I could pay you in a dream of time, but I've already bartered most of my stash over to these poor saps. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Hmm. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. 
Oh yeah. I'm great at clarifying. Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I've got all the time in Halcyon. It says one, one's not an option, let's do two. I'm great at clarifying. Three, nope. Four, not leaving. I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, must be my natural charisma. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but... I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Hmm. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so... I was stuck with him. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling mm -hmm. sick with plague. I want to click the other option. Medicine to treat myself. Let me click the other option. Set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. You just peaced out, huh? What is this? Here, let us loot a bit. goes back to the outside. Fuck you. Fucking bombs, bro. Cool it. Damn. I don't like to be blown up every five seconds. Alright. Oh, wait, what's the thing then? 
Convince Zoe to return. Oh, I gotta convince her to return. Ever consider the Marauder life? It's pretty sweet. I'm great at clarifying. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I can't do it. I need one more. Let's fast travel back here real quick. See if there's anything I can do over here. Because there's nothing I can really do until I get better at dialogue. Alright, where am I? Nope. This way. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Expect we got no choice. Edgewater needs us back, and loath as I am to admit it, we need Edgewater. You okay with this, Grace? Zoe's still out there. Don't much care to leave her unaccounted. If you find her, could you let me know? We'll be waiting in Edgewater. Just give us some time to gather our personals and say our goodbyes. If you run into Reed, you tell him we're coming back, yeah? All right. Well, I guess that's as easy as that. Look at that. The snakes come back. Good for them. I'm glad. Back to the old cannery with Grace and Thomas and Stefan and all the others. I expected it'd end like this. Lived out here for years all by my lonesome. Only right that I'd die the same way. I expect you've done enough for the veil. If you don't mind leaving an old lady with her thoughts, I'd be much obliged. It is too late, and I'm tired of talking. I'm not gonna be a dick. <laughs> Ah. Who found a spoil at this rate? Back to the old cannery, huh? Don't know what else I expected. I'll tell you what I can. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Little ways ago, she was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. But no useful skill as far as I could tell. 
Marauder Gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. What is it? So I talk to them more, I guess. Maybe I can convince her to return. Let's see. Maybe that's what I needed to know. If not, oh well, like, I, I don't know what else to do until I upgrade my stats a bit more. Consider the Marauder life? It's pretty sweet. <coughs> no, there's not really anything I can do right now. Alright, so I'm gonna return to read. Brightest thing you could, sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they didn't care much for me. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their post? All right, that, 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 three options. Randomize, I'm not leaving the conversation, okay. That's good enough for me. Adelaide and I have a history. It was unlikely she'd ever come back, but hope springs eternal. We are in your debt. I am authorizing you for a discount on all official Spacer's Choice products, courtesy of the people of Edgewater. By all means. Thomas. Thomas Kemp. I remember him. Had to write him up for daydreaming a few too many times. He tries real hard, Mr. Thompson. He says something he wants to do. That'll make him twice as good. I will give him a chance to impress him. If he knows his way around a toolbox, I may have a place for him in the Holcomb workshop. This whole fiasco is not one I am keen on repeating. I was too hard on my own workers. I pushed them to their breaking point. With more hands at the cannery, I expect productivity will rise. I expect we'll grow. And I expect I can ask corporate to send us some more medicine. We'll survive, one way or another. Oh. 
Okay. So. I'm gonna bump that up. Three. Uh, bump that up. Four. Uh, five. that up till it's 30. Um, oh, okay. Apply. Boom. Gravati. say the unreliable okay so I go back to my thing now but first I'm gonna go see if I can visit the Zoe chick where are we headed you mean about the mission being too clean I know but Vicker says the universe is a machine but it runs by law real machines have gunked up oil scratches and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Fixing the universe is a job for somebody way better than the likes of me. Let's get back to it. Region Fast travel to the botanical lab. And I'm going to go visit Zoe again, see if I can convince her to go back. Where'd you get a cigarette? Ever consider the marauder life? It's pretty sweet. There we go. And no serial dramas. I've been thinking about going back. I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me. I've got that to look forward to. Sweet. So I've completed that. Still don't have the things to get into there. Fast travel back here. Oh. 
I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I can do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Alright. That is completed. the collector's domicile. So it looks to be in a loop around that. I just ran through the fire. I don't know where the other dude went. Oh, found him. Considering I kind of blasted him to pieces. Anybody here? 
That's good. Colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces or were amongst themselves if the Earth Directorate wasn't around to regulate trade and subtle disputes. Do you think the corporations would accept the mandated inclusion of an Earth Minister if they had a choice in the matter? Of course, I never dispute that Earth is the heart of the whole colonial system, but the real adventure and independent spirit upon which humankind truly thighs on is to be found out here among the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history though, the discovery of the skip drive was not what gave the Earth Directorate power over the corporations. The high cost of the Great War left them in a weakened state, and the skip drive was simply the extra leverage the Dictoriate needed to return to power. Today, corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery, effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center, selling rare memorabilia. But scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those books moldering in some contraband locker, so I stashed them all away in a cave by the river. journal uh retrieve the journal so One, mind your own business.
Well, it looks like this rolled into my other stream time, so I was going to stream this at that time anyways. So it works out, even though I did not take a break. But it's fine. I just completely ran past the entrance. It's a fine new day in Edgewater. The cannery hums, street lights and faces glow. I suppose this means the two of you were able to sort out the matter? The greater good can be difficult to determine. None of us can know the effects of our decision in a year, or ten, or a hundred. Take comfort in the fact that your choices are always, ultimately, in line with the grand plan. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. Neither can I. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. Hmm. I cannot make this decision. Two. Over... Overreacting? Do you have any idea how many years I spent in... No. You couldn't possibly know, could you? I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Four. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aetherwave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure a uh, My headphones fell off. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Oh! And stretch. My headphones are not reaching as far as I want them to. Even though I live in a small room, it's still... Oh, my phone cord's tangled up in that. Alrighty. Now I can plug in my phone so it doesn't die while we're trying to randomize things. Alright. 
Three options. Let's see. Two. Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Four. Fantastic. I promise you won't regret this. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holton. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. It is my esteemed pleasure to serve as your crew vicar, Captain. Neat. Oh, he has all sorts of things, doesn't he? And he has a perk as well. So now I've got both of them. Interesting. Alright. Uh, journal. Another. Let's do the other side quest. And look at the map. So. Engineering Volume 2 is in the cannery? Interesting. Any machine. Continue. Light ammo, heavy ammo. the difference between the two.
So now I've got to go down to this place here. Take your stuff. I'll take your stuff. Uh, uh, you don't have anything. You're lame. I'll take your stuff. I'll take your things. I'll take your things. Alright, and then the last volume should be in here. Okay, so I was not very prepared for that. I was not as prepared for that as I thought I was. Zooming out. What I need is on the second floor. Fastest route would be through the side here and up. I already search you. Yeah, I already searched you. 
Well, now that all caution was thrown to the wind, I'm going to walk around and pick things up. I like antiques. Wonderful. It's like a museum. Key card encoder library is back up and running. Hopefully it won't come the fritz again and start shooting key cards at anyone who walks by. As a reminder, in case it does break down again, you can borrow a key card from the director or one of the workers at the second floor office if you lose your card. I must lodge a complaint. Your obsession with this Manta Queen is wasting all her budget and holding up a development on the entire exhibit. It has to stop. This letter is to update you regarding your request for one adult Manta Queen. As you may remember, our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild. Per, per your approval, we deployed a team of our highly skilled hunters to kill it for you. We regret to inform you that the entire team has perished. Please expect an invoice from our office, including the cost of the gravesite fees, as stipulated in our contract. Additionally, we must ask you to cover the cost of all equipment damaged, corroded, dissolved, eaten, or digested partially or otherwise. Thank you for your patronage. Please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hug hunting expedition at 10% discount. I look forward to hearing from you.
So that's the Emerald Vale once complete. We'll display proud heritage of our settlement for generations to come. Decorating the main hall of our noble community center, this elaborate diorama of memorabilia of our settlement's founding will embody the hardworking spirit of our spacer family. The centerpiece of the grand exhibit will be taxidermized Manta Queen, erected within our main lobby as a site of civil victory over nature itself. that I've explored all those rooms that was the top floor that we were on yep we're good to go oh, sorry my legs bouncing and my arm was resting on my legs so that's why the screen was jumping up and down This was a nice family, you know, while it lasted. 
No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, <laughs> Miss Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Uh, just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Alright, so that should finish up all the little side quests for now. So now I gotta return to my ship. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. I could tend to your engine, I know my G-valves from my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? I like you, so yes. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! I got a captain. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> That would be my reaction. stuff I'm gonna do that um, I'm gonna do a little bit more dialogue some defense uh, and then tech Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. 
What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. What the hell? I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Three options. Two. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Five. Two. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon. Terraform, badly. And almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. And think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys called Kelly. Um, all right. Let's see. Four options. Number two. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. One. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Three. only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram.
<laughs> the beauty is they don't expect it. The Shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. Hmm. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal.
was sleeping like. Hello. This is part of Adi's room. Alright. Empty room. It's a latrine. Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he like? Why did he make the computer a talkie? You think he got lonely, lying about on his own?
Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? The unit is a cleaning sound. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Goodbye. Do I just always walk around with a weapon? Yep. Make yourself at home, Captain. Mission reached the groundbreaker. You got a minute? Hey, Captain. I heard the groundbreakers got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing this by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Please avoid damaging yourself or others while you are out. Manifest. 
standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker. Smells like grease and unwashed bodies. Just as I remembered. That's not the point. This hat was just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying me. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get two with me again, you little backbeat brat. I will toss you out of your life. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Customs and inspection, right this way! Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Well, let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Not gonna lie, you're in a pickle. But uh, Udom's an uh, interesting guy. Might be y'all could come to a court if you play your cards right. Huh, records show this ain't the first time your ship's been impounded. Seems to get cleared up pretty quick. You might not be in this pickle for long. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. A handful of sand cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Be seeing you. the other day it was coming from monarch here we go again no one lives on monarch it's a wasteland you're hearing things no seriously there was a lot of static at first but then this voice said his name was graham graham right broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters now i've heard everything you know it takes more muscles to frown than to smile who told you that Captain, try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. Back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastard. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. 
These stairs are board property. First now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief Dooling shit. You don't own shit here. Step back! I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... You waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Uh, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Mark? Starting stairs with that walking mustache dude on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. <laughs> Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. And we will mostly. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. You must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? No! How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... their droppings. Right, right. You are going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work.
listening to me? Upstairs room? Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient. Or an oven, just like store bought. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreakers are free port. We're outside of the board's control, for the time being at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light in his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Lots. Maybe I should charge you double. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Rosewood. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corpses are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top fit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for Fen, someone call me a liar. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Could I have a word with you, Captain? Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the Groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. That's a good question. Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures.
I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the Philosophist's off-world destination. Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain, uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Thank you, Captain. things okay so I gotta finish that Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. There'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub level. Spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. I... Jun Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Mona. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Thank you. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Force of habit, I guess. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could... Teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Pavati. You can ask me anything. Right. In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry.
couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. Mm. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Mardits are descended from the original Marine Detachment that crossed the void with Groundbreaker. I don't put their lives on the line if I can avoid it. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. The ship's groaning something fierce, but I can make time for you. Alright. Um, things. This is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt your regularly scheduled... So there's that. Boom, 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 boom. Advertisement for the following story. Remember Auntie Claire, because she remembers. Company. A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. Nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Stumbled into my court without an invitation, neighbor from above. If you don't have any business, then it's time to light up the grill. No one turns their back on me while I'm holding court. Get them, boys! Incoming! Nice hit! Damn! He said, fuck you. Ooh, 
Lieutenant Red, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon... You came with the crew. No one turns their back on me while I'm holding... Incoming! <laughs> Okay, so persuade. How do I get that higher? I think I might have skill points to spend. Yeah, I do. Alright, I'm gonna take one of those away. Um, let's just put one of those on there. This ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Tribute it is. And ain't this just a royal sum? Uh, don't we need those bits, Captain? To buy the key from the lady? The principles of the universe dictate that sometimes we must appease others to keep from being roasted alive. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. Ship got impounded. Crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. My baby got sold to Sublight. Scrap for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. <laughs> Am I your dark reflection? Shit, must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. You can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures. Even the proverbial unwashed masses would turn their noses up at this place. And cut them off. Before I wake it up. Don't give it. So cozy. How do I get Okay, so there's stairs over there. Best we don't do that in the 
eyes for other people. Wake up. There's no such thing as pizza. It's all over the big pot. You've been getting into the boss of special stash again, haven't you? Lumei is gonna be pleased as pie when we show her these. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shop. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call up the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight man killer infestation. More than a few, less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. generated and directed by the universal equation, also known as the Grand Plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, uh, right. You had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. Just that good. Bad 
not the same as Uncle. You are surprisingly adept in combative situations. Why do I suspect you're right to make fun? You are quite handy with that hammer. I like to hit things that annoy me. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisements for the following... My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Be right there. Yep, be right over. All right, I'm on my way. Coming. All right, what else is going on? Journal Weapons from the Void Don't make a scene, Dr. Finley. I am not making a scene. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Did he now? Mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, and usually by bandits. Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws.
Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Remember Auntie Graham, the consumer of the group. <laughs> Gracious, I was just sitting down for tea. What do you want then? My hard earned wisdom? That's right, dear. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lake. The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. Those board folk are real prideful like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony is not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. in a bit. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chick, I mean, the scholar, shipped in and out with. So, to use that one. Twenty out of twenty five. Let's figure 
figure out how to gain access. Hey, that pad down there. With the lights off, there are people unloading a ship. You don't seem to like traveling with us. A second? Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. Well, I didn't expect her to be so tall. And did you see the size of her arms? to find anybody who likes working with tools in a little town like Edgewater? I just met her. How could I be? All I know is, I want to talk with her more. Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to June Lay? She's just, here's how to fix it. And they trust her. It's just, she's calm and knows what to do. I wish I was half so confident. That's on account of how I never met her. But I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting mechanical computers. The contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. See you soon, Captain. Anybody with good arrival?
chewed up and spit out. What sort of creature, other than humans, would be so wasteful? They left their own outside to fly? Was it that bad? I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. A little job until all this. Anything else you'd like to know? Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Um, forget I said anything about that. Wish they tasted like sissy pig. Them's good eating. Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Oh, before I forget, Auntie Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap spacer's choice pedals. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. Uh, Dr. Crane might say otherwise. Me? When those guys started shooting the place up, I was first out the door. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, uh, benefits. Extracting how? No, wait, maybe I don't want to know. In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Seriously. Captain, I believe he's making enraptured. It's an aphrodisiac. Wrapped musk is the main ingredient. What? No. I mean, yes, I'm getting the musk. 
With Monarch Embargo, the price is sky high. But I'm not making the drug. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. Great! Uh, this is really gonna save my ass. How do you suppose that stuff's used? You drink it? Ooh. If I had to look at those yellow walls all day, I'd make a point to sleep on the roof. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Y yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh... May have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I've gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... ...by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. <coughs> that would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paper. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. 
Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. Dr. Crane's research, but we ought to find Mr. Jameson. He's going to be all alone. So... Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? Oh, well, good luck. I still gotta talk to this dude. What do I need to know? Another outlaw? Oh, quite right. What would you like? I am Orson. I was brought in to study the Raptodons. I was to ensure that, should a problem arise, our team is adequately equipped to deal with them. They are insatiably hungry. Absolutely impossible to control in any fashion, and indeed appear to be powered entirely by hate. No amount of studying will enable us to control them, or even slightly state their aggression. <sighs> Not quite. We are now acutely aware of their weaknesses. Bullets through the head. Now that may seem like an obvious concern. But believe it or not, some creatures' brains are not in their heads. What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. I... Why, yes. I suppose I could. Thanks. Certainly not. But Porter and his goons are busy with the outlaws, and Anton's busy holding his head in his hands. Seems as good a time as any to get a bit of work done. No. Uh, well, yes. Well, no. Perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast! Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Okay. So, I figured that shit out. Alright. Guess I need to head out this side and work my way that way. Schematics.
We were destined to prevail. You won't get any mercy from me.
That's not working. Alrighty guys, this is where I'm going to cut the stream for tonight. It's been a good almost seven hours worth of this stuff. It's currently almost eight o'clock here, so I'm going to call it here. I will be back on tomorrow for more streaming. Uh, as for Sunday, it's still probably not going to be streaming until later in the afternoon or evening. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, while you're waiting for me to get back online, be sure to check out my channel, my Twitch channel. While I'm offline, I will be hosting other people, uh, i.e. Flash and Let Shadow or AM Redwood or a handful of other people. Uh, also, be sure to check out our Facebook and Twitter. Give those a follow and a like. Check out our YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. Be sure to give those all of the follows and likes and subscribes and stuff. Um, and then also check out my website, maxblue9816.live. The stream is mirrored there from Twitch, as is the uh, Twitch chat is also on the website. And then it also has this neat little widget where you can see a countdown to my next stream. Uh but yeah, be sure to check all of those out, and until next time, be sure to check out the channels and everything, and I will see you guys tomorrow.